I thought you might uh, like this one. Judicial Watch's um, list of Washington's 10 most wanted corrupt politicians for 2009. So you have Senator Chris Dodd, who is a piece of work. Then you have um, Senator John Ensign of Nevada. That's good, right? And let me think. Who else is from Nevada? Let me think about that. We'll get to him later. Bar- Barney Frank. Now, as corrupt as he is, sometimes he actually says something that makes sense. So I have mixed emotions. From a personal level, I don't like the guy. But once in a while, he does seem to rock the boat, whether that's just for our public consumption, like uh, Chris Carney does once in a while. He... Uh, he votes for things that uh, that he knows won't pass, just to say he's one of us. Then we have, of course, the Secretary of the Treasury, Timothy uh, Geithner. Uh, yeah, that's a uh, that's a real dirty one, but that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, that's okay. And then Eric Holder, who everybody is touting, all the liberals are touting as this wonderful, wonderful person. Um, yeah, he's really tough on terrorism, right? Then, of course, Reverend Jesse Jackson Jr. Of course, anything tied up uh, with uh, Illinois and Chicago, you know, has to be dirty, which includes President Obama, who's right in there. Well, no one cares about what the President Obama is all about. They didn't care when they were electing him. Uh, he had a good rap. He still has got a good rap. The fact that he lied when he said he was against uh, mandatory health insurance to get in, and then once he gets in and beats Hillary Clinton, who was for mandatory health insurance, um, now he's going to fine us, um, arrest us, jail us, and if we don't come, I guess, uh, peaceably, peaceably, uh, they'll shoot us. Uh, Now, he's uh, another one. And then, of course, Nancy Pelosi, uh, that sweet little girl, they could save, we could save millions of dollars a year just finding a Speaker of a House who lives closer to Washington so your jet doesn't have to run back and forth and back and forth. I mean, what the, what the hell is she worth? Oh, and then our dear, my dear friend, John Murtha. The good news is he can't do any of this anymore. He's dead. And I don't wish anybody death. It's not very Christian to do that. Uh, but yeah, uh, my kids uh, won't have larger debt because of him. Uh, he won't be able to take away my constitutional rights anymore. He won't be able to vote for cap and trade anymore. Yeah, he's a, he's a piece of garbage. And Wrangle, of course. Charlie Wrangle, God bless his little soul. But you see, when a, when a Democrat is um, dirty, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. It's only when a Republican is dirty, they, and I'm glad they do pick on Republicans because maybe they make them a little more conscious of what they should be doing. But when a, um, a Democrat is dirty, that's not an issue. It's not a problem. It's understood that it's, it's okay. Let's see. When a Republican has anything, it, it's, um, I mean, I even heard that John McCain, as much as I don't like him, um, Bill Maher, was saying that he crashed up too many airplanes. I'd like to see Bill Maher fly an airplane. Yeah, and here's a, well, here's a Republican down in um, Nevada. And uh, apparently they got goods on him. Well, they should. They should get goods on every Republican and, and Democrat and get him out. Of course, it turns out that uh, Evan Evan Bayh, uh was no no either. I mean, his... his um, it's kind of interesting that he is um, so concerned about how terrible the Senate and Congress has gotten and all that. Well, his wife was taking down all kinds of money. I wrote a letter to uh, one of the Indiana, Indiana papers, and they're going to print it. But his wife was part of it. They shouldn't allow any, anybody to be in elected office if their wife is involved in, in, in any type of uh, lobbying capability or spouse. I shouldn't say wife, spouse. Because if there is corruption, you can't force them to testify against each other. They shouldn't allow it. But no, they do. Anyhow, 
let's uh, hope we can hang together, or otherwise we'll definitely hang separately, as I think Benjamin Franklin said. Bye-bye.